Walking Through the Valley of Death. That is the title of our meditation today, which is taken from Psalm 23, 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. We bid you welcome, friends of Manila Baptist Church. This is Sam Duilio, a deacon of the church. Please join me in this simple prayer. Lord, again, we come to you to acknowledge your sovereignty over all the earth. We lay before your wisdom the time when you will put an end to this pandemic and restore the earth according to your will. We pray this in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. When athletes make a winning move, they would raise their fist and roar an enthusiastic shout, Yes! This being practiced to celebrate a victory or an exciting achievement. The first word of our study today is yay, which is the KJV version of yes. To me, this speaks of the following, A. This could be a celebratory yes, rejoicing in the shepherd's care and protection that the psalmist had been enjoying. B. This could be a confirmatory yes, proclaiming that the psalmist will continue to trust the Lord as his shepherd, even as they face future trials and challenges. C. This could be a relational yes, not unlike the sweet yes of a blushing bride, establishing a relationship between shepherd and sheep and between the psalmist and his God. At this time, they would be entering the valley of the shadow of death, and the sheep's confidence in his shepherd is complete as David's in God and ours in the Lord. When do we enter the shadow of the valley of death? Why? As soon as we are born, death hovers over us. Death will not await only the seniors. The youngest COVID-19 victim worldwide as of April 16, 2020, was a 29-day-old baby from Batangas. It is tragic as well as ironic that frontliners all over the world are the most vulnerable of possible victims. This only means that none are exempt from this danger. But the psalmist confidently declared that he shall fear no evil. When the Bible speaks of evil, it may refer to some evil deed or consequence, or the evil one himself. Yet, in whatever form that evil may be, the psalmist is unafraid. But let us take care that the evil that we meet is not dis disguised as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11.14 The sheep need fear no evil because the shepherd is with them and they are protected by his rod and staff. These are among the shepherd's main weapons against the predators. The rod is simply a thick, sturdy piece of wood used to fend off attackers. It was also used as an aid to walking. In the Bible, God used the rods of Moses and Aaron to show his miracles to the Egyptians. In other instances, it was sometimes used as a symbol of authority, like a scepter. A staff, on the other hand, was also a straight stick with a crock or bent portion at the end. This is to draw the sheep closer to the shepherd so he can take care of it, or to guide the sheep as they wander along. When the sheep falls off a ravine, the shepherd would reach down and put the crop around the body of the sheep, sometimes the neck, and pull it up. The Lord does that to us sometimes. But when he pulls us up by the neck, the pain and discomfort teaches us a lesson, and we are saved from the danger. May the Lord continue to bless and take care of us as the shepherd does to his sheep. Thank you all.